Fournier taking it right to Lopez Aristegui. Lopez Aristegui back to Aaron Gomez. And he's going to take on Rudy. How about that? Further evidence of where he is as a player going up against Gobert. Lorenzo Brown again. Gets in, puts it up right beside the elbow. He doesn't miss, does he? And Cole calls timeout, and the early blows have been landed by Spain. Garuba used to play Madrid. Now, over to Wancho is second. And Jeff, outstanding work from the Spanish offense. Just two points for him. He's been really leading France, and there's Aaron Gomez, and he's fouled by Gobert. And look at Aaron Gomez celebrating while he's on his back again. And Jeff, we have seen the Gasol brothers be so dominant. You believe in your game plan, you believe in your teammates, and confidence comes from success. And he goes, and the basket by Yavicelli. Hurtel taking the final seconds off the clock. He gets it to Fournier. Fournier gets in, and he dunks it! They can't stop that. They have been able to cut the deficit with a lot of Evan Fournier to just 10 points at halftime. Here he is again. He can shoot it and he can drive. Yeah, and you can see the will and determination to impact the game. Fournier wants to be a factor, maybe a better playmaker. Brown lob and Willie Ernest go Gomez. Well, that takes care of that. Lead to three. Spain responded. Let's see if the French team can. And again, passing in from the high post, and now it's Fernandez! Jaime Fernandez. Tough matchup for Fournier. And what a terrific take by Juancho Aaron Gomez. Final seconds ticking off the clock here in the third quarter. Kobo gets rejected by Garuba. Juancho Aaron Gomez. Well, can you say nail in coffin? Windsor Brown sees the path to the basket. Open up. Maybe your basket. 2020, 2022. They reinforce their status as the model national team in terms of success. In Spain, we've seen this before, haven't we? Unbelievable. Never gets old for Spain.